Hello everyone, I am Sohrab from Agrim Staff and I am developer of this tool, uh, OpenNC file version 1.1 uh, and uh, I want to show you the ability of this tool. Um, if you have, um, I want to show you a lot of um, data set that this tool can extract data from this uh, in several videos. But now I want to use CMIP6 data in this video. If you have stations, uh, it means points, you should use this tab. Uh, for using this tab, you need to uh, use this icon to select the files for using this tab. Uh, now I want to use Miroc6 model of CMIP6 to uh, extract data from the file. I have several files uh, in each files. I have several years in these uh, files. I have 10 years data as a daily data. Minimum temperature daily, Miroka 6, SSP. Now this is a warning, it's not so important, it means uh, you will, uh, you, the tool cannot show you some information about dates. It's not important. You can, uh, miss it. You can forget it. Okay. And this is a, uh, um, unlimited dimension. It means time dimension. Uh, the important things is all the files should be continuously, uh, from the start up to this year and this year uh, all the files should be uh, continuously this is the minimum temperature in time dimension in this file in uh, in each file we have uh, um, 36 52 uh, cells in this files start from 2025 and it means the first cell is 2025 and the last cell is uh, 2034 end day and in this file start from this value up to this value and in this file start from this value uh, of uh, grid cells you can select the grid cells here and uh, this item is uh, it means the tool should uh, extract data from start cell from one first cell and count this value to extract. You can uh, input the stations, name station, latitude and longitude manually by entering in the table. Uh, also, you can input the name of file from a station. If you have lots of stations, it is better to input the name of files from the station. You can input it as a Excel or CSV file. But now I have a CSV file. This is just sample. So I use uh, four stations, but you can use any number of stations. If you select this Excel files, you can select, you should select the sheets from this comma box. But now I have a um, CSV file. If uh, the unit of the latitude and longitude is in UTM system, you can convert it of, or in, in minute and second, uh, you can use this. After that, after you load, all the stations will be here. And you can have it, you can change it. And the tool will use this table just. Uh, you should find the name of main variable that you want to extract. Here is the TAS mean, TAS mean. Okay, you can check this uh, checkbox to use progress bar. It will uh, decrease the amount of uh, speed, uh, speed of extraction. If you check this ta field table, all the data sh will show here. If you uncheck it, uh, you can save the data to the CSV file. If you have lots of stations, maybe more than 
2000 stations, it's better to uncheck the fill table. This uh, checkbox is not uh, usable for you, maybe. Uh, I, uh, uh, I face to a file, one of our customers sent to me. The dimension of the variable uh, is wa was not uh, uh, similar to name of uh, the name of variable, lat and lant is not equal to dimension of the variable. This uh, maybe will be useful for this situation, but for all the, uh, for most of the files, you will not need to these items. I didn't face to this file, but one of our customers sent it to me and I added here. If uh, your uh, variable have four dimension, automatically this text box will active, but now the variable have three dimension is, mm, will not use this. You doesn't need to uh, use this. Click on extract and wait to the data will show here. It takes a bit time, so, I will pause the video between some items. The progress bar is depend of the number of stations. We have four stations and we will have four steps. Okay. The data is extracted here and you can have, you can view the data here. This is depend of the time dimension, all the grid set of time dimension. Oh time dimension okay this is name of the stations you can save the out extracted data to an excel file or csv file but the csv is recommended usually i save it to csv is better csv format save uh, this is some information that you will need to add in the top of the table in Excel, but you can click on cancel. Usually I click on cancel. Okay, now I want to show you extract for a rectangular region. Oh, okay. If you want extract for rectangular region, you should use this tab. For using this tab, you need to select this icon as the, for input the for input the, the netcd files simple 6 and now i want to use gfdl this is monthly data uh, for temperature okay i select it this is the warning that i describe it in the first tab Okay, the tool can find the name of uh, latitude and longitude variable, but if uh, the tool cannot find it, you should uh, check it here and enter it in the, this text box. And uh, this is the name of uh, main variable, TAS. I enter it here. I want to select a rectangular region just for sample i select a small region from the start at an end of the latitude and longitude okay use progress bar you can check it i will describe it after extraction this item uh, field table and this is uh, the check spec that I uh, show you. You can extract data as a two style. Mm, I want to show you style one is this item. The columns is uh, latitude and longitude with this style and the rules is all the times. But in style two, uh, each uh, time is a one table and the columns is lati longitude and the rules is latitude and the time is time one two blah blah 
now I want to extract data as a style one. It takes a bit time and I, you should be patient. It depends of, depends on the, um, your region. The region is small now and it will be extract immediately. Okay. The data is extracted. And the decimal value is depend on this uh, value of latitude and longitude. I use two decimal. It means uh, each latitude and longitude in, col in columns have two decimal values. In some files it's important. And this is the time value. Uh, if you save in Excel, a underline will show between the latitude and longitude. Now I want to extract data as a style two and show you the result. It will be different as a style one. We should be wait to extract is complete. Okay, the extract data is complete. Now I can save the data in CSV file. Okay, I should select the name of file. The name of file is TAS, not TAS minimum. Okay. Save. Cancel. Okay, all the extraction is complete. Now I want to show you the result in Excel file. This is the result. I should resize the Excel file, Excel window. This is the longitude and uh, the roof is latitude and uh, the time is here. It means this is time one. All the, this table is time one. Four cell for latitude and two cell for as a longitude. This is style time two. And up to end of the time is 1,032. This is the... Mm, Minimum temperature is uh, the stations and this is the time values. Okay. I want to show you another items in Excel. You can add the time columns based on the first file. It, uh, if the file is continuously, you can easily add the date columns here. And uh, this is the, this, this date, 20, 22, 1, 1. Now in Excel, if you plus a date with one, a, one day will add, you can drag it up to end of the rules. Okay. I will drag up to end is correct. Okay. And in another file is in monthly format. And I should check the first date in the file. The first date is here, 2015, first month, January of 2015. I should add it here. One and in middle of the month, maybe it is better. And the function that you should use it EO months, this date and add one month. I should change the format of this cell to short date. Mm. Okay, I should drag up to end and check the results. Oh, it has a problem. Uh, what is the problem? 
Oh, I found it. Okay. Uh, we have uh, uh, the data in style two, and uh, we have lots of rules because each uh, time cell have uh, four rules. I should extract data in style one and show you the style one. And also in style uh, two, we can use another method to add another method to add a date roofs. Okay, I want to show you, maybe it will be useful. It takes it, uh, this, uh, I will waste your time, but maybe it will be useful for you. I want to use the data tool, another tool in Agrimisoft is Excel add-ins. Okay. I should continue it up to 1032 cells ba based on all of the data, 32 this items. Okay. The last date, okay, it's correct. Now I should uh, copy these columns four times. Oh, copy these columns as a, as a value four, four times, four, three, and this is four times. I should select of them, select the um, reshape 2D and the reshape 2D in, change it into columns. I can change the format of cells before use data tool or after there isn't any problem i should paste the data here and now i want to change the format to change date uh, each uh, date uh, repeat four times and the end date is complete okay i want to save in style one and show you the result of style one. I will change the name of files. This is the file of style one. It is easy to add the date here. and drag it. Uh, I made a mistake maybe. Uh, no, this is, uh, oh, I found it. I should remove the equal. I should remove the equal symbol. This is correct now. I should use the EO months function in Excel to add one month. I should change the format of this cell based on the above cell. I should drag it and now I want to check the last date. Okay, it is complete. Thank you for watching this video. I will add several video about this tool in future in the next months, next weeks. Thanks.